Uh, Okay, let me just run you guys through the setup very quickly. So all I've got today, nothing fancy, is my two to four kilo rod. That's one of the new Stealth One DFR rods. Um, I've just got a 2500 size reel. That's that Vanford. It's pulled with 10 pound braid. What is a little bit different for me, guys, especially when targeting redfin, is we are just using bait at the moment. So, so all I've got there is just a small running sinker, okay, to a little barrel swivel. And then what we've got is about 40 centimeters of fluorocarbon leader. Okay. That is just going to a size six bait keeper hook. And all we've got on there is just the one scrub worm. Okay. So uh, that's what's very different to today. Usually we're out and about flicking soft plastics. So today we're just gonna anchor up. We'll show you some anchoring techniques in a second. And then what we're gonna do is throw that out and hopefully get ourselves a decent fish. All right, let's get on the move. Let's stare at this sounder. All we're looking for is, it doesn't have to be a huge patch of something because obviously we're not using plastics, we're just using bait. So, but, you know, we want to see some nice big, you know, I mean, there's something there, but let's just go up a little bit further. And don't forget when you anchor, obviously you can see we're going into the wind. So we're going to drift back when you're anchoring up on a spot, you really need to be aware of which direction the wind is going in, if you're out in the bay, which direction the swell is going in. And then when you anchor up, you want it, so you're gonna be casting on top of where you marked fish. So you basically wanna see something. If we see it, we're gonna quickly press on this button here, which is waypoint. We're gonna mark a waypoint. Then we're gonna zoom right in. We're gonna go right back over the top of it. And if we see the same thing, we're gonna anchor up, but we're gonna try it, there we go, like that. That's exactly what you wanna see. So let's mark a waypoint. That is definitely 83. That's what we want to fish on. So 83. Let's zoom right in. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go right back on top of that spot. All right. So all we're going to do now is, guys, I've got my anchor here. Okay. So we're going to throw that over the side. Okay. Okay. This one's got the float, so you know always where it is key thing about this one is it's got the quick release clip okay so that means if something ever happened you can quickly release that the beauty about these anchoring systems here is you just clip that on okay all right so you can see now all i do guys is i've got this rope now and i can rotate that to the front okay and you can see there now that's positioned at the front of the kayak the nose of the kayak is going to straighten up directly into the wind and into whatever small bit of swell there is Got the rod holder here that I've just set up. So this is one that's got the H-rail mount. So, so there you go, look at that. I've just anchored up directly on top of fish. And the anchor rope is gonna be in front of us. So we can cast to a spot that's not gonna be in our way. We're gonna grab our rig here again, which is what I've just showed you. So that's my two to four, 2,500 size reel, your 10 pound braid. You got your scrub worms with that small running sinker rig. And all we're gonna do is now that we've straightened up, is we're just going to cast that out to the side there okay and with a bit of luck we will get ourselves a couple of decent red fin Oh, Mark. Uh, I don't know what this is. This might be a big carp, I'm thinking. That bait was in for what, 30 seconds? It's either a mammoth of a fish I've got my other rod in the way here. I don't know what this is. Oh, it's huge, man, for ready. 
Oh my god. Please land it, please land it. <gasps> I've never had a ready. Oh, that's insane. That's a horse. That is. <laughs> Holy crap. Wow. That is a big, big fish, guys. Big, big fish. And I've just put on a little running sinker, about 30 centimeters of 12 pound fluoro, and then just finished it off with a size six hook. A um, couple of scrub worms cast it out. That bait was in the water for literally 30 seconds. And how is that for a red fin? That is an absolute cracking fish. Peeled a lot of drag, which is really, really strange for reddies, which are generally pretty docile fighters. But um, have a look at the size of this thing. I mean, look at that. That is an absolutely stunning brute of a redfin. Oh, my mate has got a big fish on right next to us. <laughs> uh, and just so you can see, let's flick that around. Another good one. Oh, yeah, well done. All right, so we'll flip that bap around. And, uh, so, uh, but as you can see there, guys, so if, uh, if the first fish of the year that you catch is any indication to go by, I think 2022 is going to be an absolute cracker. Ooh, <gasps> that? Oh, oh, yeah. Get that net ready. Oh, this is good fish, man. Oh, I think this is a nice one. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. <laughs> well done, mate. Well done. Have a look at that. That is a redfin delicacy right there. Surely that 50 centimeter ready will swim past that and go, yes, we're gonna get Alan his PB. Well, I would really, really bloody hope so. All right, we're gonna cast there. As we said, we know that six meters in front of us is exactly where that fish was that I marked up. Okay, so by the time that basically gets to that spot and then drops to the bottom, so you're gonna lose line. So I've gone over it and that'll come back. That should get us pretty close to where we wanna be. So that now goes in the rod holder. Here we go. Another fish. Yes. Well, as you can hear, our mates, the jet skis are back. But anyway, one came racing by. I looked over, my rod was absolutely buckled over. Brought it in, and there is another nice fish. So clearly, now he's going right in front of me. Really, really smart. Uh, so clearly, this isn't as big as the last ready. So this is a nice, respectable size. And um, you know, a little bit dwarfed by that bigger one that we got earlier. But beautiful fish, beautiful eating fish. You have to watch these things, guys. They're called gill rakers. And uh, as I was picking up my camera, I wasn't really paying much attention. That's bleeding a little bit now. Mighty, mighty sharp. So if you've got young kids, best way to handle these fish is you really want to put one finger in the mouth like that. Support its belly. That way you're supporting the fish's weight. That's the really nicest and safest way. It's also really good for the fish. But there you go. So there's another fish. Clearly this technique of uh, sitting back and throwing out some worms. It's not something I do a lot of, but it definitely works. And uh, we've got a short window before we're going to call it in. So um, let's hope maybe there's one more before we call it a day. Funny now, you're downplaying it. Usually you'd be absolutely wrapped with a fish oh, of that size because you've caught heaps of them. It's like, oh, no. Oh, I think that oh, one's getting... Oh, 
Oh, that's we got two fish in two casts and they couldn't be any more different. Same species, but uh, look at that, hey. So you got a tiny, tiny lid already there and then you got the bigger one there like that. So um, that is absolutely hilarious. So this one here is going probably about 38 and I reckon this little guy here, I don't know what size you'd say that, but he is absolutely tiny. So uh, that's very, very interesting contrasting size fish that you can get in this system. Oh, that's a big hit. Oh, yeah. I love the wind. Yeah. Yeah, no, that uh, took off. Decent, eh? Oh yeah, very decent. Good job. Another one mate, well done. Smashed it today. Absolutely crushed it today.